Taking over you. Oh, this is the greatest show. The next stop. So yesterday, I had some pretty shocking news. Today, I'm trying to be a bit brighter about it. Uh, a little bit happier and a little bit more upbeat. Um, I just want to explain a few things to you guys because I don't think it's really understood exactly what type of cancer I have or how cancer works. So from the offset, I don't have any way of exposing anything to you that's any different to what I know. So I have a type of cancer which for all intensive purposes has spread all over my left side uh, in my skin, my muscle, uh, my lymph nodes and areas of my left side very rapidly, right? Very rapidly and into my back as well. So you've got to understand this is, this is quite a large spread. Now everyone who said that this is able to be kind of fixed with chemo and radiotherapy, unfortunately it's not from what we've been told by very, very good specialists. Uh, people all over the world as well. There's things that I can try and there's things that I can try to do to make it easier and make it better, which of course I'm gonna try. And alternative medicines and keeping my diet really, really good is exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to be eating really well. Uh, I'm looking at different types of diets. I don't want to advocate any, so I'm not gonna name them until I know what I'm going to go with. and. I am looking at other alternative therapies, which I will document completely for everyone. But I want to break this misconception that people with cancer have to look sick. If you look at me, I'm deadly pale. I am very pale, I am unwell, I am not in a good way at all. My pain level is definitely an eight today and I've got other like areas in my back that are needing to be checked now from this morning because I've got the same type of pain. So when you get a carcinoma or some kind of um, skin type of cancer that goes along with what I've got where I have like sarcomas and uh, skin and inner like cellular cancer, it's, you, I can feel it. So for me, I can feel it. I know what the feeling's like. It's like a really bad, burning, itching sensation on my skin, which leads to the, the tumor growing underneath. Um, I can feel it because it pushes on the skin and it kind of makes my skin stretch in a small part. So I know, and I've, I've taught myself over time to look out for these things because no one has helped me with this as much as they should have. Um, I've changed teams, as I said yesterday, and I've changed to what we believe is the world's best team. So we've not gone with just anyone here, we've gone with who we believe is the world's best team to sort this out. So they're gonna direct me where the best place is to get treatment for this or see if we can try and resolve this situation as quick as possible. Because for no, no, I'm gonna reword that. There is no way that I'm giving up, no way. And I want you to understand that there is, there is ups and there are downs in all this. And this whole situation for me is very confusing. Um, I'm told one thing by one doctor, by one doctor, another. And then I'm thrown into lots of different scenarios and situations. I know full well that at some point there will be too much disease to fight or battle if it continues this way. Um, and I think the doctors have been quite open and honest with me in lots of parts of the world and are very honest with me about this uh, in many parts of the UK as well and people that I've spoken to and other people, doctors, um, surgeons and other people. It, the spread is very fast and very rapid. And the point I'm trying to make is them waiting on this whole scan for time whilst people were having holidays and uh, waiting for the end of the tax year. It only took uh, three phone calls and a bit of arguing and explaining that we will basically sue people if they don't deal with this correctly because one, it's malpractice 
And I don't think anyone understands that as well. It's, since I found out I had cancer, one, I've been misdiagnosed three times, yeah? I've been forgotten about loads of times. I went to hospital in September last year and complained about all this stuff in my side and I was told there was nothing. But obviously, since I was complaining then, this is all spread and grown into my side and up my side. They didn't even bother to do a scan then. This is serious. This is my life. This is my life that I want to, I want to share the ups and downs with people, but this is my life. It's all well and good saying, oh, you look healthy. And I thank you for that. I, I thank you for saying I look healthy, but I'm not. I record when I'm at peak of my medication working and I record when I feel I can do. Sometimes I record and I put on a brave face when in actual fact, two seconds after I switch off the camera, I start crying. People don't see that, that side of it all. And unless I had a film crew with me all the time, I couldn't show that. And I'm not Truman, I'm not in the Truman Show, I'm not going to be able to do that. But as for the alternative therapies, I'm looking at the alternative therapies. I'm looking at different things that I can do health-wise, uh, fitness-wise, and all this stuff. But if I end up having to have surgery, I can't keep fit. And I have to then argue what they feed me and things like that. And you may think, oh yeah, it's only a small surgery. It won't be a small surgery. And I'm looking forward to having copies of my scans and things and being able to explore this more with you guys because I'd love for you to understand the severity and the understand, have the understanding that I do of everything that's going on because the gravitas of this situation is far more complex than anyone in this situation would necessarily understand. And fighting with people to get scans and fighting to get things seen to and I've got a letter on the desk over there that's basically a doctor laughing at me to another doctor uh, saying oh it can't be cancer but it is it is uh, it's been double checked by the Marsden it's been double checked by um, other people it, it it's a horrible thing but break that common misconception that people have to have bald heads and people have to look sick if they've got cancer. Break it, it's pointless. And just so as you all know, I won't ever be giving up. Ever. It's not in my vocabulary. And I try and respond to every single one of your messages, all your uh, comments and everything because I, I feel that I should. And I feel that I should support other people because it's not easy to watch this kind of stuff either. And as this unfolds over the next couple of weeks, you're gonna see how utterly life-changing this will be. You will see a downfall of a man over a period of time, but I tell you now, I'm gonna pick myself up. I won't give up. And I definitely won't give in. So I hope you lot don't give up either. And I hope you don't give in. Because, yeah, I've got a lot more in me yet. And there's so much I want to do. I've been invited all over the world. I've been invited by one of my friends to go and see them in uh, Zimbabwe, which would be so cool. I'd love to go and help some little kids there. and. Just go and see some stuff, actually. I don't really understand what's in Zimbabwe, but I'll have to study it. And, and like with my cancer, I'll have to become educated. Uh, learn more. My cancer, I, I, I'm doing my best to learn more. I signed up now to study to become an oncologist. Now, you may think that's stupid, but I really want to learn how to help people I want to learn how to help myself. And if I'm only here for a short time or if I'm here for a long time, if I'm here for a long time and I'm knowledgeable, that makes me a lot more powerful. And that makes me a lot more helpful to everyone. So yeah, if you've managed to watch this this far, you're a legend. And thank you. 
And any questions you've got for me, pop them in the thing. Don't forget to join our support group over on Facebook before we build the website and the community on the website. Um, and hopefully later on I'll have a video that explains the community side and everything uh, to help you out with that. So God bless, have a good day and I'm going to continue to seek answers. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning here um, so I've got all day. So tonight might bring something happy and we might have some better news. So, yeah. Oh, and I forgot to say, I've got an appointment next Thursday. So hopefully I can take the camera with me and we can speak to the oncologist and they can tell you all exactly what's up. All right? And if not, my mum's coming with me so you can listen to my mum. All right? See you later. Have a good day. Enjoy yourselves. And I hope this new camera has made a difference. Thank you.